like a little bit thing. What the f thing? Get out my way. All the cables. I want to try. It's like a bomb key. Stood me for 460. Right, here we go. What is in the cable? And it's Welcome back, it's another video and we're in the same property. You're gonna get fed up with this property, I swear, because we still got another couple of videos to shoot here as well. But today, we're doing extras. Yes, there's been extras added on to the job. It makes no difference to me, to be fair. Like I said, it's a mate and she's paying me every time I come here. So it is what it is. So yeah, we're gonna add some more bits in and we've gotta do the spotlights in here. So if you follow me. So we are gonna carry out the spotlights in here. I think we're gonna put six here, maybe like one over there, I think that's what she wanted. So it was quite an easy day. Um, I'm not here for a full day. I've got to pick up the little one, so it is what it is. But I think you would have seen in the last video that we got all the captaining and everything in. So I think we're gonna try and run in some cables as well. I got Joel with me and he's gonna give me hands. Let's get to it. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I live quite close to Klein and Super Odd. So we've got quite a good relationship. And I popped up this morning, so they had a couple of goodies for me. And I did ask for this if I could show it in the video because um, I'm going to be using this today. It's like a cable jack. So you've got three toggle things on it. Some of you have probably seen this, but for the ones that have it is a, if you work on your own, it's a great bit of kit. Take them out, open it up, and then you've got three bars inside. Screw that in. And we use it all the time, especially for like single cable or any kind of drum cable. Yeah, so you just screw them in. That's all of them. Get your cable, chuck that on. Obviously you can put multiple cables on if you wanted. Get that back. So what you could do, like I gotta do run in 2.5, I gotta run in 6 mil and 1.5. So you could get a lot of the drums on at the same time. And then when you run them off, it just makes life hell of a lot easier than just pulling it off the drum. You've all been there where it's just a nightmare. Trying to pull in cables on your own and they're on the floor. Cables going everywhere, kinking. That is it pretty much. And then you got your cable reel. I will leave a link to this somewhere below but I'm not really sure where you can buy it from. Maybe pick it up from your local old sailor or whatever. But yeah, that's it. Right, so we're doing the spotlights in the kitchen first. Now, perfect for us, really. We can see the joists and we're just gonna measure what they are. So these are 400 centers. So we can mark the ceiling where the joists are. So when we're marking our spotlights, we know if we're gonna hit a joist or not. That's the worst thing about spotlights. If you're gonna hit the joists after you've marked them all out, you drill the hole, you think, shit. But yeah, so we're lucky you mark all these out, get the laser line set up, and then we're on to our winner. So we're just marking out the spotlights now. And a quick tip, and I've almost forgot it on numerous occasions, is always take out the wall, take into consideration the wall cabinets, because um, you can mark from wall to wall and get all your centers and whatever, but then when the cabinets go in, it looks off because you haven't taken them into consideration, so it is important, like what we've done here, the 400 cabinets, we marked off 400, 400, got the laser line down, so that's our straight edge to now, those lights, so we're going from that line to this wall over here, um, and then, yeah, they'll look a lot more symmetrical. We've marked out all the joists, so we just gotta stay within them as well. But yeah, it's just the easiest way and fault-proof way of doing spotlights. Got them all in, so we got seven in total, which is more than enough for a kitchen this size, if anything. Maybe a little bit too much. We got one for like a little utility bit there. We're gonna crack on doing some other little bits now, and then hopefully, and get onto running cables. There. So, yeah, join us and we'll crack on. Right, so we're at that stage now where do my head in. We need to get all the cables disconnected. I can't get old my mate to say we do that, but all I'll do is just chuck in some temporary sockets from the board for now. Um, to be honest, it's summer, so they don't really need the light. There's plenty of light in here, they're not gonna be working at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, we're just gonna spend another hour now just getting all the old shit out because it's just we can reuse some of the holes i don't want to be drilling joists if i don't have to so yeah first thing oh, shit. <laughs> um get the cables disconnected from here and chuck in some temporary power all them k board can't say i've seen one of these before i think last cd switch bye bye well i look forward to the video i do when we install this board i'm telling you it will be the best single phase board you will see we're probably going to install uh the navitas board the new one that they've rebranded does look quite smart to be honest so we all know it's good it's a good brand great morals and they have great testing on their circuit devices individually tested i feel like i'm giving a sponsored video yeah i'm not i work closely with well he's a great guy and the company's great why not support 
support it if you can. Oh my god, it's rough as daps. Aluminium neutral, probably aluminium light. Yeah, I'll we'll have to change these tails. We'll have to get, be nice to get Western Power out to install a double pole isolator for when we come back to fit the new board. So that'll be handy, may as well get that sorted. But yeah, oh my god, that is a proper bodge job, isn't it? What the f they've. Are you joking me or what? Stay here for a minute. This is the best bit about the job, and I just ripping crap out. Get it out of my way. Right, so we're just ripping these cables out, which you've just seen. But look what we find under here. I swear it's like either a massive junction box or where a fuse board used to be. And they've just extended all the cables. So I want to try and get out stuck underneath all these pipes. I don't know what's on it. It looks like a little crap as well. But cut this out. I just want to see the state of it inside. Uh, we have to have a look. Let's get chopping. Ta -ta. I want to know how rough. Must have been an old fuse board relocation or something they've just extended. Well, I don't know, so it wouldn't really make sense for what's by here, I don't think. But something's happened because. Still no idea what it is, it's some sort of relocation thing. But it's like a bomb case. I... What the hell? And it's got dated on it, 13th of the 4th, 60. So this was done in the 60s. I don't know what this all means. So if you do know, please drop it in the comments because I'm curious. Let's get it open, is it? Right, here we go. What is in it? Oh, that's a bit underwhelming. Very underwhelming. <laughs> That's definitely like a f fuse board relocation or something. If you guys have seen this before, let me know because I haven't got a clue. Right, as you can probably tell again, I've had to do a little bit more chasing. So I've moved that socket from there to there. A little bit annoying, probably unnecessary, but here's what it is, is in. Um, I've drilled all the holes for like smoke alarms as well. So like over by here above my head, there you can see it. And I've done, so I've done one in the upstairs landing, one downstairs, uh, down in the hallway and one in the kitchen. So we'll have a heat in the kitchen and then the other two smoke. Um, and then we'll put one by the boiler as well, probably. But yeah, so they're in. And now I'm going to crack on these lights now. And then that's a job done for the day. Happy days. I'm starting to upload a lot more on YouTube. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you want me back on YouTube or could you not care less? Yeah, I'm going to try and do more tool reviews and stuff like that as well. And just get consistent with uploading. Just get back into it. Because I do enjoy it. It was just time and jobs that you can record on. Like this one I've been lucky enough to record on. But a lot of what I do in work and stuff, it's just you're not allowed to record. It's really frustrating. You wait till we do the fuse board in here. That'll be a good video. We've got another one wiring. Probably second fix. So a few more videos you can pump out. And you've almost had a full like re wire so that'd be good anyway and i'll put on like a section on youtube playlist so you can at least watch it all through if you want to and pick up some bits run upstairs you come with me so just to show you like how handy that super rod cable reel is so i'm pulling all the spotlights up here so I've just drilled all the holes all the way down um so i've got a reel down here I'll flip the camera around now so as you can see it down there and then all we got to do is just pull the cable and it just comes off mint now you would know if you do a lot of this and you haven't got a cable reel it's just a nightmare you go up and down the stairs especially if you're on your own so it does make it a lot easier so uh, let's run this in and i'll check you down now big tip for running cables never yank them pull them hard especially if you run on top of the cables because it will just ruin the cables and the insulation on them and you're just damaging it so just always take your time bit by bit like by year it's all right because we've got no other cables but in the next video you will see well what i mean and it's all about uh keeping them tidy you don't want them getting twisted knotted kinking get nice and straight and, and then and chuck a loop into this one there's plenty there so i just like to do out my spotlights chuck that in there is regulations to drilling joists again one of those regulations very difficult to stick to on a rewire almost impossible we we'll may speak about that in another video or something or we'll speak about it on the what's up newsletter i'll make sure we do that one month so if you're not uh, signed up to it go and click the link in the bio it's free to sign up we just do an ed educational entertainment and news related stuff every month it's not spam it's definitely not spam <laughs> no catch to it we just i with the contacts i got now from do, doing social media for a while we just get a sponsor every month to like cover the cost at the moment we, do, we like we're losing money making it so it's not a money a money grab but obviously in the future it'd be nice to make some money on it to pay for our time and whatever yeah it's nothing to do with, like the sponsor on there we, and we only work with sponsors that, are, that i like and pretty much if i like them i guarantee you'll like them so yeah it's not it's not nothing like that it's not heavily promotional so go go, just go and check it out it is it is good what we do and it will help you i guarantee you and yeah and just let us know what you think about it drop me a message on instagram or something <sighs> right for like 20 quid right oh we've probably all used them now these bosch bits the little oh, come closer 
uh, you've all seen how the spade bits so are like the screw on the top. Class. As long as you don't hit any nail or any bit of metal, wicked drill bits, fairly. And for like 20 quid, you can't go wrong. Let's see how long it takes us to get through this joist now. Uh, one more. Oosh. Do, 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 do. Oh, got these knee pads on. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, they're all been today, that's for sure. My knees have been playing up so bad in like football that I I swear from work kneeling down all the time. But try and make myself look after them a little bit now. At least wear knee pads if I'm gonna kneel and try and avoid kneeling in general if I can. Not always possible, as we all know. Yeah. <sighs> Spotlights are done, we got them all in, lovely jubbly, we've even got the switch wired down for the switch. That's enough for me today, so we're going to shoot now and I'll leave you to it. But thank you guys for watching, I will see you in the next one and we will be wiring and it's going to be a fun one because i got some people. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and make sure you go sign up to the WhatsApp newsletter, giving me hands so we'll have a bit of a laugh. See you in the next one.